Yo, what's up guys? Keg Dristin. I'm gonna start something new. I'm gonna be reviewing some gym clothes, some of my favorite gym brands. Uh, I mainly just wear one, which is Dark Sport. I do wear other ones, but uh, the ones that I'm more into is Dark Sport. <clears throat> So today I'm actually reviewing the latest drop the Dark Sport Marvel collab. So if you're interested in it, stay tuned. If you've been wanting to buy Dark Sport and you don't know how to go about the sizing, this is the right place to be. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna show this size so you don't know my address. But I was waiting so long for this package. All over Instagram, I was seeing people with their new clothes and I was like, what the heck, where's mine at? I, I didn't even have a, a tracking number yet. <laughs> As you can imagine, I had some serious FOMO. But here we go, time to open it and share with the world. Item number one, we got Hulk Premium Tea. I, this is a vintage charcoal. I'm sorry about the ugly finger, I smashed it really bad. And I... I know this, these are oversized, but I actually end up getting a large just because I like the length to be a bit longer. Uh, medium is a bit higher on me. I'm 5'8", by the way, I'm not that tall, I'm kind of short. To all my short kings out, let's go ahead and open it. And honestly, I grew up watching Hulk, like the very, not the very first Hulk back then, but I would watch the 2003 Hulk. I was maybe like three years old with uh, this guy, Eric Bana and Eric Bana and like the other girl. So yeah, honestly, this is the one I grew up on, and um, I mean, I wish they made new ones, but I'm not here to talk about movies. I'm here to talk about the Dark Sport drop. So here we go. There you go. With that epic Hulk in red, almost reminds me of God of War when he goes on rage mode. We got the picture here of Hulk. Up here, we got the writing. Dark Sport, more than fabric. Wolves forever. It's not for... It's for us, <laughs> not for everyone. <laughs> it's not for everyone, it's for us. As you can tell, I'm not sponsored, okay? And then we got that pick, Two Wolves logo. But we're not done yet. On the back. Damn, we got the flames. We got the wolves in flames. And one of the tag, Hero Elite Series Dark Sports. So we got the official collab tag. And something, um, something that I really like about Dark Sport is that they always have on their, on their shirt tags on the inside, they, also, they always have this, which is which number you got. So I got number 907 out of 1,000, so I was pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on, and I'll show you how it fits on me. Here it is, guys. A size large. I'm 5'8", so not too tall. I'm kind of short. Uh, not too short, I'm um, average, <laughs> average. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it doesn't go too far long and that's what I, that's why I get a large for my height. And yeah, the back. So something that I really like about these shirts is that the material on the inside, it's actually very soft. I don't know if the camera, through the camera you can tell, but it's very soft material. So it's perfect for when you're working out, when you're, getting that pump, uh, it doesn't scratch against your body. I've worked out in other shirts that I've gotten from um, Urban Outfitters and it's kind of scratchy so I didn't even really like it. And this is perfect. So yeah, on to the next one. So I only ordered three items. You know, I didn't want to spend it all. It's kind of pricey. Actually, we'll talk about that. This shirt was, this shirt was $40. So I got two t-shirts and a sweater. The t-shirts were $40 and the sweater was $65. Moving on to the next one, my favorite item. We got we got it in white. And as you can see here, with great power, premium tea. So with that quote, if you are a fan of Marvel like myself, you will know that this is Spider-Man. And this is also a large. Got this one in a large as well. So it's actually the first white t-shirt that I own from Dark Sport. So hopefully the size fits well. Um, I like the color black, what can I say? There you go. Damn, this one's amazing. I'll, sh I'll go with the front first and then we'll show the back. So the front, very, very simple. We got the Dark Sport logo and then we got, of course, the collab. 
Spider-Man symbol. Nothing on the sleeves. We got the official tag. But the back though, the back. Look at that. Oh shit. Look at that. Dark Explorer went all out with this one. Look at Wolves with the webbing all over it. And then we got two epic Spider-Man graphics right here. And then like all of Dark Sport riding all over the place, this one. With great power comes great responsibility. Dark Sport bodybuilding whoops forever. And in the bottom, we just have some of their previous drops. It's just listed there. But yeah, honestly, for my first white shirt, white Dark Sport shirt ever, this is actually a good option. It's a good choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. Three, two, one. That was faster. I think this one fits a bit shorter. Like I said, never owned a white one, so this is the first time. But overall, I think it fits pretty good. It's not hanging too much. It's not, the inside is not as soft as the charcoal one, but it's still, still good enough. And then the back, I'm hoping the back looks good. Can't really see it, but I'm hoping it looks good. Overall, I think it's a good good design, good material. If you want to go for a white, I definitely recommend it. You can't get this anymore because it's just on a one drop basis. But in the future, if you look at any of the white shirts, I think a large would be a good option if you're a short king like myself. Now on to the final item. We got the, the Venom Raglan hoodie. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, and this is in a black. I got the extra large. I don't know if I've had, I haven't ordered any hoodies in a while. Um, the previous hoodies I had ordered, they were kind of like rustle material. So I really like the, the fabric and the way they would fit. I would order a large or extra large. But for this one, for this one, I got an extra large. We'll see how it fits because it's been a while since I got a hoodie. But here we go, the front. We got the big Venom graphic. We got the big iconic Venom graphic. And I believe this is Spider-Man, is that Spider-Man? Yeah, the Spider-Man right there too at the corner. Got the Dark Sport Wolves logo. And we got some print over here too. Something I like is that the print on the side sleeve, it's all imprinted, so it actually feels really nice. It might, after a few washes, it might start to crumble a little bit, but it feels pretty nice. That's a, that's a detail I like about this. This is imprinted as well, so. And this one as well. <laughs> so on the left sleeve, we got some more wolves. It's the details of the sweater that makes it really good. And on the back, a little bit more simple. Just says wolves on the back. Now let's see what number we got on this one. Oh, interesting. So I guess this hoodie, it doesn't have any um, lacing on the, on the hoodie, which is interesting because Pretty much all the hoodies I own from them, they have lacing, but I guess this one doesn't. 954 out of a thousand. No wonder my orders were coming in late. 954 out of a thousand. So I barely made the cut. That's why it took a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. There we go. An extra large. And honestly, when I pulled that out of the bag, it looked a little bit smaller compared to my other extra large, but it actually feels pretty good. I think, I don't know if it's me, but it feels like it kind of hangs forward. So the front is a bit longer than the back. I don't know. So there we go, wolves. <gasps> wolves on the back. <clears throat> we got all the writing here imprinted. We got the wolves right here. Let me try with the hoodie on. I'm, I'm used to getting a, a hoodie and kind of pulling the strings a little bit, the lacing, but uh, I'm not complaining. I really like this design. 
Venom's one of my other favorite Marvel characters. But yeah, overall, pretty comfortable, especially for that winter weather. If you have a girlfriend, you might want to keep this away from her because she might not give it back. So just a heads up, okay? So that's pretty much it for the review. I hope this was informative and useful because that was the main reason why I wanted to do this. Well, one, I really like the material and I know a lot of people are beginning to wear it, which is not a bad thing, it's a good thing, but I was scrolling through Reddit and something that came to my attention was that a lot of people were complaining about, about Dark Sport and its material, which there's nothing wrong about that. Everyone's open to voice their opinion. But something that was common was that the material was bad quality, which actually, from someone who owns a lot of it, I don't think it's bad quality. Actually, I think it's some of the best quality out there. What I'm, what I'm trying to say with this is that no matter what you wear, it always comes down to the way that you take care of these things. And something that I do is I always read the label on the back or down here, and it actually teaches you how to take care of your clothes. So what I do usually, I machine wash cold and actually hang dry or just air dry in the dryer so it doesn't shrink there's no heat it's not gonna fade out or get small and that was one of the one of one of the biggest problems amongst the, this these reddit posts that i saw so maybe you should try that out uh if this is your first time buying dark sport maybe like your second third or whatever um because I mean, the reason why I do that is because, like I said, 40 per shirt, 65 is kind of pricey. It's not the cheapest brand out there, but since I'm paying that much, I want it to last longer. So that's something I wanted to put out there. I hope you guys have great holidays with the fam. If you enjoy this, I'll make more content and check out my other social medias, my other videos here on YouTube. Check out my Instagram, TikTok, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.